Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Geek Script. First of all, a very happy new year to all of you. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of MySQL on the Windows operating system. After that, I will also show you how to install MySQL Workbench as a graphic user interface and how to use MySQL Workbench for writing simple SQL queries. So do watch the video till the end. I can guarantee if you watch the video till the end, you will be able to create your SQL table, you can insert data, you will be able to run some queries. So everything you will be able to learn after watching this video. And if you face any issues, you can always comment on comment section and you can also DM your issues on Instagram. I am always here to help you. So now to install MySQL, you first simply go to favorite browser and to search over here MySQL download. Hit enter. So that will show you this www.mysql.com as a first search result. So to click on this MySQL downloads and it's going to redirect to the official site of MySQL. Here you to scroll down and you to click on this MySQL community GPL downloads. So that's going to show you this MySQL community downloads. Here you will see this MySQL installer for Windows. So you need to click on that. So when you click on that, it's going to redirect to this page. So this link I'm going to provide on our description. Once when you are here, you will see that latest version at the time of making of this video is version 8.0.40. So I'm going to download to this latest version and uh, I'm going to use Microsoft Windows as our operating system. Here you will see there are two variant, right? One is this uh, MySQL installer web community, another is MySQL installer community one. So do not download the web community, all right? Always download this one. So that file is little bigger, so 306 MB. So download this file. So no thanks, just start my download, and you will see MySQL. Right, we started downloading. I have already downloaded it, so I'll cancel this and minimize my browser. I'll go to my download directory and you can see same file is already downloaded, right? 306 MB. So let's double click on the installer. So MySQL installer is rightly open. Let's minimize our uh, the download directory. It will ask for administrative privileges. Click on yes. It's going to again ask for MySQL installer launch. Yes. And you can see MySQL installer 1.6 is rightly open. So here I will recommend you to click on custom installation and click on next. So you need to expand this available product like MySQL server and you need to select this MySQL server and you need to place it under product to be installed. Similarly you need to do it for this uh, graphic user interface that uh, we like to use that is MySQL workbench. So expand that and put that product under product to be installed. Similarly, you can do it for shell as well. Uh, repeat the same process, expand and select that and put it under product to be installed. If you want to do for MySQL router also, that also you can do. I'll skip this router, but I'll keep only uh, MySQL shell, MySQL workbench and our main component server. All right. And the documentation I'll leave. I'll keep only these three and I'll click on next. So this three is what it's going to be installed. Fine, click on execute. So we'll come back. And now you can clearly see that our MySQL server, workbench and shell, everything is rightly installed. Just simply click on next. So uh, ready to configure, click on next. And uh, this is the important part. This is our port. So everything is what you need to keep it default and click on next. So uh, here it is telling uh, to use one strong password. Fine, click on next. So here you need to provide your password. I'll give a very easy password for the time being. So I'll give a password called root and repeat that same password. And you can see that it is weak, but fine. I'm going to use it only locally on my system. So I'll keep it simple. If you want to add a new user, so that also you can do. You need to just simply click on add user and you need to provide all the details and you can create a new user. Uh, that I'm going to discuss elaborately on my next video. So here I'll use the default in user itself. So click on next, fine, click on next, yes, and click on execute. And it is rightly done, click on finish. So our configuration is complete, click on next, and click on finish. So our MySQL is rightly installed, and our MySQL shell is also opened here. You can write some code snippet, you can create table, database, everything over here. For the time being, let's close MySQL shell and let's focus on MySQL workbench. Just click on this root user and let's provide that same password that you have given 
at the time of installation which is root itself say password in vault click on ok and see that we are currently logged in into our mysql right so uh, uh, you can just drag this for and you can create your uh, database so let's first you know uh, write a simple code called create database let's give the database name as chess all right just select this and click on execute you can see create database is executed successfully our database is actually created let's insert uh, let's create a table first so create table let's say so within chess uh, we, we like to create a table called players so chess.players and that will have couple of column couple of column will be id as integer type and let's say we have a force name that will be of where care of 50 characters all right so you know just write this much and select and click on execute so our, uh, table is actually created you can see uh, it is ticked so everything is fine let's insert a couple of values to our table so select sorry insert let's insert a couple of values so insert into uh, first we need to give your uh, you know database name which is chess and then players that has a couple of column that is id and first name and then it will be values and within bracket you need to provide a couple of values so let's give id as one and let's give you know name as gukesh so our world champion gukesh domaraju so first name only i'll give gukesh and i'll select and i'll click on this run icon you can see insert is successfully done let's insert one more value so our future challenger arjun let's hope for that uh, i'll change the id to two and i'll select and click on execute one affected fine let's verify whether all details uh, all uh, data directly inserted on our table or not so select start from our database chase and our table name players execute this and there you go you can see that our data is actually fetched so in this way you can easily install latest version of mysql you can start working on your sql scripts so that's basically all about this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel geeky syntax that's going to really motivate me to make more this kind of videos and also if you're interested you can also subscribe to our geeky ski vlogging channel and recently I'm posting a lot of videos on WordPress. So recently I post about one hour video, one hour 30 minute video of WordPress. Like this is an e-commerce website with WooCommerce. And this is a Astra and Elementor. Using that we have created a fitness gym website. So all these different videos you will get on our channel. So don't forget to subscribe our channel. That going to you know, really motivate me to make more this kind of videos. So that's basically all about this video friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. And God bless you all.